Hi my friend Giuseppe Manzoli, professional private chef, personal chef. And uh, as um, I'm recording this video and I'm writing this article for uh, only my LinkedIn page with the purpose to show to my new clients and oldest clients that I'm stick to what I promise. One thing came to my mind and uh, this often, often, the people people that serves you or others and they don't like what you do what they do it can happen and it's happen in any trades but as a chef in the kitchen in the you you want to eat something you pay for to be served for be served okay and on the other side the person is taking your money and uh, it doesn't like to serve you, doesn't like his or her job. They are always moaning, complaining, mumbling around and uh, watching you badly with the eyes like this. So much hatred in themselves. And uh, they, they are always looking for ways to go out and smoking and chatting and have a coffee is i mean i saw a lot of these people i saw a lot of these people and as i'm writing this article and i said i'm gonna record a video as well on top of that i really can't understand and i cannot stand next to these people so i work for agencies for a lot of times before going solo chefs chef in the UK because back to my experience in Italy I have had my brasseries since my I was 26 and I came in the UK when I was 41 with no English education no English education I learned my English on YouTube and by speaking with people and uh, as I said I worked with uh, a lot of agencies for, for several years and before starting working for, as a private chef okay and uh, that I really cannot stand is these people that are moaning complaining and hate the challenges because serve you is a challenge because maybe you are part of the family that are two four three four people and there are youngest in there and maybe sometimes you have guests you have 10 15 20 guests and uh, the private chef need to embrace the challenge and uh, deliver whatever you ask, whatever you g the guests want. And uh, as a private chef, personal chef, people need to understand that not all the family and all the guests, they want the same thing every day or every meal. No, there are people that are uh, veg vegetarians, there are people that are vegan, and uh, if, if you love to serve people, if I love to serve you, I embrace the challenge, and I will show you that I want to deliver, I am able to deliver, and I am happy that you are asking me three, four, five different, six different changes in the menu for the day or for the evening. I'm very happy to do that and I think a personal private chef must be happy as well. And also for a chef that embraces these challenges it will make uh, this person more uh, uh, proud of him or her chef when they are able to, to deliver. And uh, but by the years working for agencies and speaker with my agents and uh, this is a problem this is the problem that you face when you hire people you know, this they are looking for uh, the paycheck of the end of the month for the easy job for how many breaks they get <laughs> i'm in my office this is my <laughs> my beautiful doberman 
And she scratched my nose last last week. Look, you see this nose here? She scratched my nose. But she's lovely because she wants to go for a run. I keep fit. I keep fit because I'm serving you 10, 12, 14 hours a day. I work very hard for my clients. And I, I love to stay fit. And I stay fit for two reasons. For myself, because if I'm fit, I can serve you no matter what. So this is the message related to the article that I wrote. I'm writing here. And uh, because also I want to stick to my promise. I'm sticking to my promise. My promise is to make your event remarkable, your, your, uh, yes, your event remarkable. I think is the best way to say. Okay, I'm going out for a run now, and uh, me and Freya, we are telling you bye, and we are looking forward to, say, to serve you. We are, we are very looking forward to serve you. Giuseppe.